Hey, what's up? I'm Lali, and you're watching London Key Lali. And right now, we are in Brick Lane, and we're going to be tasting some Bangladeshi food. I'm so excited. Have you ever had Bangladeshi food before? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be an exciting experience. I've tried to make my own shatkora chicken curry, but I've never actually had it in a restaurant. So I'm really excited for you to experience those flavors of Bangladesh. Uh, so let's go and check out the restaurant. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Yes. Let's go. So we are standing directly opposite the restaurant that we're going to go and eat Bangladeshi food at. Luke, do you notice anything different or a bit weird about the fact that we're going to eat Bangladeshi food and it's this restaurant? Oh, why? Yes, I did, Laura. Which is? Uh, it says it's the home of great Indian curries and grills since 1974. Okay, well, did you know that actually over 80% of Indian restaurants in the UK are actually ran by Bangladeshi people? I did not. It's they should say that they're Bangladeshi restaurants because we can have Bangladeshi food there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the problem is this street became renowned to be the epicenter of curry culture and for what the British perceived to be an Indian curry. So the tikka masala was actually invented in England uh, by Bangladeshi people. And the thing is, when in the 1900s, when Bangladeshi people came over, Bangladesh was still part of India. So they sort of had to keep going with the Indian name. Even in the 1970s, when, they, when Bangladeshis came over, they kept going with the image that they were producing Indian food. This restaurant, yeah, is an award-winning restaurant. Ainsley Harriet has been here. So I can't wait to taste the food and try some actual Bangladeshi cooking. Because that's what we're going to do here. We're going to have some actual Bangladeshi cooking. Yeah, yeah, we're going to look beyond the normal menu. We're going to look beyond the menu and we're going to try the authentic taste. How does that sound? That sounds amazing. Yeah, because we want to go for something different today. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Luke has tried a lassi today for the first time, and now he's going to order another lassi. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a another lassi because I think it will help with uh, a lot of the, the sort of spicy food, which I assume I'm going to experience. Um, Lali is is ordering everything yeah uh, and uh, it's going to be a surprise to me so yes. yes hiya i've actually written on my phone what i'm going to order because <laughs> oh, no. i looked at the menu ahead of time do you want to order now yeah 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 go get a notepad you're excited for what i'm going to order uh, i mean you're going to say some stuff and i'm not going to know what it is <laughs> i think i'm going to be more excited when it arrives and i can i can see it yeah yeah, yeah. You, can you eat fish though don't you yeah i eat fish yeah, yeah. yeah. okay yeah I've decided to go for all the Bangladeshi stuff. No problem. That'd right. Be wonderful. So I'm gonna have the shakora. Shakora. But as a lamb, the shor shisha chicken, Bengan tomato jol, and the roop chana jol. And then can we get a side of uh, mishti kodu as well? Sure. You have chosen the traditional. Dishes. Yeah, that's what <laughs> that's what I wanted. Due to the wonderful hospitality of Sheba, we also got some extra dishes, including a lamb chop sizzler, lobster samosa, bhajis. And a lamb tikka. Yummy! Do you think we've got enough food? Um, <laughs> I think maybe yes. Great, let's tuck in. That smells so good. <laughs> yeah, because you don't eat lamb. I don't eat lamb. <laughs> but you do eat lobster. <laughs> I do eat lobster, yes. <laughs> okay, I got it. All right. Yeah, that's that's lobster. It's good. Yeah. Now, I ordered a lot of Bangladeshi dishes and I thought it would be helpful to break it down for you on what those are. The first thing I ordered was shatkora lamb curry. So that's your lamb shatkora. Oh, shatkora, amazing. You only have to go down the road to Taj stores to see shatkora being sold. Here is one of the owners of Taj stores telling us what shatkora is. This is an amazing kind of a, a citrus, we call it vegetable fruit. This is from actually from, originated from Sile in Bangladesh. It's got this little bit of bitter taste, but it's more of a fragrance and this, I mean, it's, it's, it's lovely. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. I've tried chakora before and I really like it. It smells really good. Chakora Luke is kind of like a, um, like a kind of uh, Bangladeshi lime or like, like a lemon. Okay. Mm. Good? That's really good. 
Yeah, that's lovely. Really, really nice. I just got a proper mouthful of shakura, and it's so gorgeous. It's just like really nice tangy flavour. Really love it. And it flavours meat so well. It's a really unique taste. I love it. The second thing that I ordered was shorisha chicken, which has a mustardy flavour. Chicken shorisha. Nice. Good. It was really tender and creamy. Yeah. Next up, Bengen tomato jol. Bengen meaning aubergine. I know this because it's the same in Hindi as Bengali. Bangladeshi style. Nice, yeah. nice. Oh, it's a lovely, lovely creaminess to this. It's quite light as well. Yeah. Oh, and there's a bit kicking up a bit of spice on the tomato. I really, I really like this actually. This is really good. Okay. This is genuinely really, really good. Mm. This is the first one where I immediately reached for seconds. And that's, it's vegetarian as well. That's, that's, it's really fantastic. I'd happily order that again and hopefully maybe even learn how to make that at home. That's yeah, great. Have to look it up. So the aubergine is creamy mm. and the tomato is spicy and it's sort of very distinctly different and they sort of come together in this, 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 this dish and it's, oh, it's really, it's really, really good. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. Roop chana jol, a pomfret frit fish dish. What your roop chanda here? Amazing, thank you. Have you ever tried a pomfret frit fish before? I don't, I, I don't know. It's a fish popular in South Asia. Okay. Yeah. Right. Do you want the other half? Yes. Okay. I want the head. You get the head. Thank you. Mmm. What's it like? It's a beautifully meaty fish. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite, uh, I don't almost want to say coconutty, but a bit of a spice. Oh. Nice. Mm. Enjoying? It's really good. Oh, yeah? Really, really good. Okay, can't wait to try it. Yeah. And finally, Mishti Kodu. This is called Kodu, a white pumpkin. Tastes very neutral, courgette sort of type. I want you to try the Mishti Kodu. Okay. It's like a Bangladeshi pumpkin. Bangladeshi pumpkin. This one. This one, yes. Yeah, yeah. okay. Okay. I've seen it in the supermarket. It's like a big green kind of butternut squash shaped thing. It's good. There's this lovely kind of um, rough shredded sort of texture to it. Oh, nice. I really like it. Yeah. yeah. The, te the texture is really interesting. It's like you've got these um, these uh, these grains in the squash, like a like a spaghetti squash or something like that. <laughs> really distinct. You not had spaghetti squash. <laughs> Spaghetti squash like that. Try some of this like spaghetti squash thing then. You'll you'll totally get what I mean when you eat something. Okay. Yeah. Mm. It's got a really unique texture. Yeah. Yeah. I've never eaten something like that before. There you go. Go and buy your mishti kodu. Or your kodu pumpkin. I might have to go to Tara stores and get a koddu. Oh, I know they sell it there. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so we have very full bellies, having just eaten at Shiba. Yes, extremely full bellies. Yeah. Yeah. How did you like it? Oh, we're out, out of focus. Oh, we're so out of focus. Filming now. Okay, okay, right. Yeah. Well, we just finished eating at Shiba. How Shiba. was your experience? It was, it, it was, it was good. It was really yeah. good. And yeah. your favorite dishes were actually the vegetarian ones. All the vegetarian ones are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I really liked trying koddu for the first time. And I loved the shakura lamb curry. I think next time we'll get you to try shakura, but have it with chicken. Chicken. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we'll make shak shakura at home. Yeah. 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 Bengen. Bengen. Bengen Jol. Bengen Jol. Yeah. Is delicious, and I will order it again. Definitely. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I'm glad you liked it so much. It was so good. Nice. Yeah. Um. Well, we've got very full bullies. Bull bullies. Bullies. <laughs> we've got very full bellies right bellies, now. Yeah. So I think we should go home. But yeah, Sheba, definitely look into it. Come back to Brick Lane. Come get a curry. Let's bring the curry culture back to Brick Lane. We need more people coming to Brick Lane. Yeah. Yeah. Let's bring back people to Brick Lane. Yeah. Yeah. To experience curries. Curries. And maybe experience some Bengali dishes too. Yeah. Yeah. Do awesome. it. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, subscribe and thumbs up, please. Goodbye.